Hi, it's Steve from Optima Tennis. Welcome to my latest video in my series of tennis drills that you can do at home. Today we're going to look at how you can get accustomed to using the chopper grip on the serve. So let's take a closer look at the chopper or continental grip. I'm holding the racket out in front and looking down on the grip you can see there are four ridges, two on the left in red, two on the right in orange. And there's a V formed between the thumb and index finger, and that's the blue dotted line. To get the chopper grip, you've got to hold the racket so that the center of the V runs down the middle of the two left-hand ridges in red. Now, it's going to feel really awkward, but it's well worth persevering because you're going to use this grip for the serve, the smash, volley, and the recovery shot. So stick with it. It will feel horrible, but it'd be worth it in the end. Okay, now you know what the grip looks like, we're gonna use it in some drills. I'm gonna start by hitting the ball down into the ground using the frame. Make sure that you keep the grip, obviously. This is a very uneven patio, so it makes it even more challenging. But I am trying to keep that grip. You hold it as if you're holding an ax, and you chop down. Okay, next drill, keep your uppies. Just keep that ball up in the air. This shouldn't be too challenging. So then add some spin. This will make it more interesting. Try not to move your feet too much. Keep that ball under control. And make sure you've got the grip. Same drill this time, but with a bounce. So start off with the basic version. And then just add spin. Bad bounce. All right, next one, twiddles. Using the alternate face of the racket. Do about 15 or 20 of those. And then finally, just bounce the ball into the ground. And again, use that grip. So, keeping the grip all the time. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can use the chopper grip to serve overarm. I've introduced the chopper grip on the serve to literally thousands of players and I can't remember any of them thinking that it was anything less than awkward. So you're not alone if you think that it's really, really difficult. The key is that when you move the racket up to the ball, you've got to turn just prior to contact so you align the strings to the ball. Now, most players don't do that and they end up hitting the ball with the frame or they make a very fine contact and the ball skims off and whizzes off to the left hand side. So if that's the case then you've got to really think about what your hand is doing and what the racket face is doing. So start off with the thumb pointing to the left and the strings pointing to the left. As you make contact with the ball you turn so the thumb and the strings point to the ball and then after contact the thumb and the strings point to the right. Now we're going to practice this in a very simple way. So you're going to get the cap of the racket pointing forwards, just place the ball up, and that's the serve with the chopper grip. Get the ball through straight. So there, turn the arm, contact, and you finish with the strings pointing off to the right hand side. You don't need to do any more than that at the moment. And next time you get out on court, you can start to lengthen the swing a little bit until you're getting back to your normal length. I hope you found that useful. Get out and practice it. Leave some comments below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, then please do so and hit the bell so you get notifications of all my new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.